The FAA has identified the two people on board a plane crash Sunday morning south of Dallas. The plane was headed from Greenville to Lakeway, but crashed south of Waxahachie. Kirk Roosman, the plane's owner, Michael Ruggiero, both died in this crash. They were up in North Texas for a tennis tournament at the time. KXAN's Ignacio Garcia tells us friends are still wondering what went wrong. The airplane was scheduled to land here in Lakeway on Sunday, but it never made it. Some who knew Russman said he was an avid pilot who flew out of here very regularly. It was slow going at the Lakeway Air Park Monday, but regulars say it usually is. Most who use this airport know each other or have mutual friends. So he was a great guy. I actually was at his hangar the night before uh, he left on his trip. Coffin doesn't know what caused Russman's crash, but knows what it's like to run into trouble in mid-flight. I've been in a plane crash. I was in an airplane that blew up in flight. Well, I was lucky enough to have a parachute and parachute it out. The FAA has not determined cost for Russman's 1975 single-engine Beechcraft going down. They do believe it caught on fire on the ground after impact with a tree. Friends say this was Russman's second plane. He was known to be very meticulous about maintaining his plane. Even so, they say flying can be very dangerous. Any pilot that's been flying for any length of time uh, knows the risks. The Lakeway Airport goes back to 1939 with a small but tight-knit community of pilots. They say Russman will be missed. In Lakeway, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. And KXAN has learned both Russman and Ruggiero were in North Texas for the United States Tennis Association's Texas sectional tournament. Russman did not compete, but was the captain of the Austin 4.0 team based out of Lakeway's World of Tennis. Ruggiero did compete over the weekend, being the number one men's single player on his team. Lakeway World of Tennis officials tell us they are assisting the families affected by this tragedy.